You've seen him in the hot new documentary, Cybercrime, on Amazon Prime, the president of Jobeka Technology Group, Mr. Michael Einbinder Schatz. Thank you. Thank you. The greatest lesson ever meant nothing to a 14-year-old who just wanted to get high with his friends and go bowling. <coughs> But in 1977, my homeroom teacher, Mrs. Jane Rindon, took the opportunity to try and teach me that lesson. See, I got sick with the flu, and I missed a Wednesday, a Thursday, and a Friday. Saturday, I felt fine. I wanted to go to my bowling league at Madison Square Garden and then do a tournament out in Jamaica, Queens. Mom checked me out. I was fine. She gave me the go-ahead. I was golden. Afterwards, I wanted to and hung out with my friends. <coughs> Sunday night, fever spikes. I miss Monday. I miss Tuesday. And I miss Wednesday. <laughs> now, I went to a really small school in Brooklyn Heights. I had 36 kids in my grade, not my class my entire grade. Secrets and privacy were in short supply. <laughs> Mrs. Rindon pulls me aside. She's my homeroom teacher. And she looks me in the eye and she says to me, now Michael, I heard you were out with your friends all weekend and bowling all over the city. And this, after you had been sick for three days. And I know. Had you not done this, you would have missed, you wouldn't have missed, excuse me, the last three days. You have got to take personal responsibility. And I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. Who is she to tell me what to do? I'm 14, I know everything. <laughs> Recently, I'm talking to one of my girlfriend's sons about personal responsibility. He's got his challenges in this area, as do many. And this story popped into my head like it happened yesterday. Now, I don't know if it got through to him, and that's really not the point here. But what's interesting is that I found out later that day that Mrs. Rindon had passed that very day. Eerie. Now, Mrs. Rindon was not my favorite teacher, probably because she saw potential in me in which I was completely disinterested. But because it was such a small school in a tight community, I found myself as one of a few people who was invited to her house, to her home, for an open house, to select a memento or two from her estate. And I said to my mom, who now lives in Philadelphia, I said, let's go to Brooklyn, let's go to the old neighborhood, it'll be fun. And we drove up and we turned onto her street in the beautiful Carroll Garden section with its beautiful, you know, um, brownstones. Just incredible. And what do I find three doors away from her house? A parking spot. A parking spot in Brooklyn without having to drive around the block for an hour. <laughs> Now, I know some of you are thinking, oh my gosh, this was a message from above. No, that's not where I'm going with this. <laughs> Remember, I was an underachiever. Why would Mrs. Rindon, the exacting Mrs. Rindon, send me from the heavens above the convenience of parking? <laughs> so it doesn't make sense, right? So I'm in front of this spot, and I'm like, I've got this. I learned to drive in Brooklyn. I learned to park my father's Chevy Caprice classic station wagon <laughs> boat on a sliver of asphalt in a driving rainstorm. My little Prius, <laughs> I got this. Throw it in reverse, 
back it in. I'm looking at the uh, screen now, not in the mirror turning around, because all the cards have that. Back it in, pull it forward. Perfecto. I'm in. I got out of the car. My chest was puffed up. I said to my mom, kids still got it. And we laughed. This suburban man taking pride in a parallel parking job. <laughs> and um, I looked at how I was parked, because I always do that, right? And you know, I was about this far from the curb, not bad, right? And then I looked at all the other cars on the block. They were all, and I mean all, this close. And I knew it in that moment that that was a lesson. And I'd like to think that if Mrs. Rendon were sending me a lesson, it was this one. Because I'm not a 14-year-old anymore who knows everything. I'm someone who loves, who craves learning life's lessons and taking them from wherever I can find them. And it's a two-part lesson. Part one, take pride in what you know. Honor your skills. Part two, you can always, always improve. Thank you.